State lawmakers announced the $350,000 here at the market Friday morning. Vendors tell me they're hopeful this means there will be less austerity budgeting for the nonprofit. Tito Tep has been selling fresh seafood at the Broad Street Market for 28 years. He says last year's fire at the brick building and the struggle to get a tent constructed for displaced vendors have made the last 12 months very difficult. Hopefully this money will carry us, this, us over. Uh, in hard times, uh, we can, we, it can help out. The market took a massive revenue hit after more than a dozen vendors were without a home after the brick building fire. And I know that many of these business owners have had to deal with extremely painful challenges. Some had to pivot and go to, into a whole different direction. I asked market leadership how the organization will make sure that funds are being spent wisely, especially in light of charges being filed against the former executive director for alleged misappropriation of thousands of dollars of funds. Market Alliance Board Chairman Eric Haggerty says more checks and balances have been placed on market expenses and bank transactions are being published online. Of course, we're uh, shocked and you know dismayed when we learned about the inappropriate expenses and are doing everything we can uh, again to um, make sure it never happens again. Haggerty said the state also has requirements on auditing in order to make sure that the grant money is being spent appropriately. In Harrisburg, Tom Lehman, WGAL News 8.